So in the last 10 minutes or so, Apple has released uh, information about the M2 Pro and the M2 Max, which is what we were kind of expecting. But also, M2 Pro is coming to the Mac Mini, which is very exciting. We don't even have an M2 Mac Mini yet, but uh, M2 Pro, apparently. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to get both of those updated. These are not yet on Apple's site. They are just on the newsroom, which is kind of annoying. I spoke too soon. They've just dropped uh, basically an event video that's about 18 minutes long. That is is not a thing that's happening right now. Uh, it's it's a very interesting way of launching these. I'm surprised. I, I won't lie to you. I thought I was 100% convinced that Apple would not drop these new chips without doing some sort of event. I'm sure there's going to be a video that comes out. I'm sure that's going to be going live on Apple's YouTube any moment now. Spoilers. It did. Um, sorry, I made this video too fast. Um, which tells you about these uh, chips because nobody's seen these chips and they've launched these MacBooks with the new chips and the Mac Mini with the new chips without any sort of fanfare, which is just strange to me. It wouldn't take that long for them to re record a very short event. 30 minutes? 15 minutes? It doesn't really matter. But they could have done this as some sort of an announcement and um, and, and sort of made a bit more of a deal of it. And this is interesting for what is going to happen going forward. All of a sudden, we are going from having a, a week or two weeks worth of notice when new products are coming to, well, we heard yesterday that this was likely to happen. So... Uh, everything has been thrown into the air. Nobody really knows what's going on. But there is some information on these chips on Apple's news uh, report. So it is still 5 nanometer. so don't get too excited. This is exactly what I've been saying for a very long time. This uh, M2 is based on the A15. It's, it's based, yes, it's based on the A15. So don't expect this to be 3 nanometer. That wouldn't make sense. So this is A15 based. Um, just like M2 is, it's 5 nanometer, just like M2 is. I think we might get that 3 nanometer goodness in the M3 around WWDC. Still my thoughts. Um, six month kind of refresh cycle here. But we are also seeing that um, the M2 Pro is going to be 12 core CPUs and 19 core GPUs, which is a very strange number of GPUs to be putting in there. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and then once you get up to the M2 Max, that's up to the 38 core GPU um, and still with a 12 core CPU. So the big points here, you've got twice the memory bandwidth, 200 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth on the M2 Pro and M2 Max, um, which is twice as fast as M1 Pro and M1 Max. Great. Uh, 32 gigs of low latency unified memory in the Pro. So this makes it two and a half times faster at Xcode compiling than the fastest Intel Mac Pro, uh, MacBook Pro ever, which is pretty impressive. Graphics speeds are up to 30% faster than the M1 Pro. So the M2 Max is again 30% faster than the M1 Max, but also up to 96 gigs of memory in there. Uh, neural engines are going up 40% in terms of speed, which is pretty impressive. They've also got hardware accelerated HEVC, H.264, and ProRes video encode for multiple streams of 4K and 8K, as usual. We're, we're kind of used to that at this point. Uh, Apple's latest signal image processor delivers better noise reduction and, along with the neural engine, uses computational video to enhance camera image quality. And obviously, this is taken advantage of in macOS Ventura, which, let's be honest, was probably designed to be coming out around about the same time as these MacBooks. So, um... I guess there's been a little bit of delay there. You can also get up to 22 hours of battery life out of the MacBook Pros with M2 Pro, I'm guessing, in the 16-inch. Uh, that must be the most power, kind of efficient version with the biggest battery, I guess. But yeah, we don't have a huge amount of detail. We just know that these things are coming and they haven't really told us when we can order them, when they're going to appear on the uh, website and things. But yeah, I mean, image processing in Photoshop, 40% faster than the previous version. You can't really knock that. That's not bad improvements, uh, you know, generation on generation. It is just over a year that these have been. Uh, it was October of 2021, and now it's January of 2023. So I guess, you know, we're talking like 15 months. I really think they're trying to get this to this annual update cycle. That's my expectation. I think they're going to try and get... Uh, M3 out in June at Dub Dub, and then I think they're going to try and get M3 
Pro and Max probably out very late in 2023. That's my thoughts. But uh, let me know in the comments what you're expecting. This is a super quick video. I know there's not going to be much editing, not much on the screen. But please forgive me. I will link to the newsroom article down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell.